Reporting tonight, the Elkhart South Bend Aquatic Community Monitoring Program has been testing the quality of water in local rivers and creeks in our area as far back as the 1930s. The St. Joe River being one of them, it was once considered a dead river, but that has changed over the years. Our Erica Jimenez joins us live with more. Erica, tell us about it. Yeah, Lauren and Josh, today the focus point isn't whether you can fish at the St. Joe River or not. People have been doing that for years. It's about the improvement in water quality, and we know this thanks to data collected. There's life at the St. Joe River and lots of it, but this wasn't the case years ago. The river has seen gradual improvements in water quality over the years. But how do we know this? Well, today the Elkhart South Bend Aquatic Community Monitoring Program was out here testing exactly that. They shock the water and according to the amount and type of fish they collect, they are able to determine that the river's water quality is good. And no need to worry, the fish and turtles are released back into the water after the data is collected. We've got data that, that, that dates back to the 1930s that indicates that the St. Joe River was dead. Uh, essentially, 250,000 people in the Michigan area sent their sewage to the St. Joe River, and it's not, it's not because they didn't have a choice. That was the only option back then, right? The group is composed by aquatic biologists and college interns. They come out here twice a year, every three years. For now, reporting on this beautiful day in South Bend, Erica Jimenez, 16 News Now. College interns and WNDU interns too behind the camera down out there too, enjoying the water and the sights of the sounds. Okay, Erica, we appreciate it. Thank we you. sure are enjoying our time here. I, I know you. <laughs> I know you are. Thank you, Erica. Hey, 